So a question from Tracy. If tenants contact the building manager and say that their geyser is dripping, is this a burst geyser or just an overflow? Um, it's a good question, Tracy. It could be from it could be uh, it could be one one or the other. Um, the only way that we would be able to to assess that is to actually send a team out there to look at the geyser and see what is dripping, and then be able to give you an actual answer as to what's going on. Uh, often we get instances where people say the geysers burst because there's water. And you get there, and it's just an overflow, um, or the, or the reverse. There's a drip, and there's uh, you know the perce perception is it's an overflow, and in fact it's a burst geyser. So the only way to tell is get out to site, log an insurance claim, get out to site, have a look at it, and then decipher whether the problem is geyser, whether the, the, it's a failed tank, or whether it's an overflow. Thank you, Glenn.